honored to be invited for this talk, even though it kind of contradicts with our own belief. <laughs> Green Volunteers was founded two years ago by me, my friend Ali Anis, and a group of young dedicated volunteers. The basic idea was to promote the culture of volunteerism by providing youth a forum through which they could act for the betterment of society. But in order to explain the true essence of green volunteers, I believe, can you hear me? Okay, sure. I believe I need to start from the beginning. Just a few days ago, we had the 2005 earthquake anniversary. For most of us, it was a painful reminder of human helplessness. For me, it was a situation with demanded action. I was in my A-levels at that time and just wanted to help out in any way possible. I think that's the feeling most of us had at that time. Uh, me along with my friends just put on our uniforms and decided to march into alien territory. This was our first fundraising experience. Although it did not start as well as we had hoped, it removed the fear of the unknown. I can still remember the lady who gave me my first donation. She thanked me surprisingly, but trusted me. And this trust, I believe, has gotten me up till here. I still visit that same building which collapsed in Islamabad all those years ago. Not to mourn for the lives lost, not only to mourn for the lives lost, but also to keep on reminding ourselves what's need to be done. I knew it then that the few thousand collected would not be where we would stop. The passion of volunteering was always in me, but I needed a channel through which I could reproduce it. Then five years on, Pakistan was staring in the eyes of another catastrophe, an even bigger one possibly. I knew this was my moment. While I was thinking about how to get started, I received a call from a friend. He was part of the same collection group back in school. He was back from his university and very much like me was up for the task. Hence, we decided to march into similar territories. These territories did not, th these territories seem familiar. Maybe it was because we were older or maybe because we were really touched by the situation. We started working on flood campaigns. By the end of our first two campaigns, we had collected a decent amount. But more importantly, we had formed ourselves a team, a team of young volunteers who were as motivated as us. Our fundraising activities were targeting our own family members, asking your friends, going on to streets, going on to signal, anything that's required. We knew that this passion needed a direction. Existence of Green Volunteer gave it a direction. I'll, I'll tell you a story from a fun raising experience. I was in a market targeting all the people coming out of their luxurious cars. When a small kid who was selling badges came up to me and said, Bhai, humse ni mangoge. I replied, Zarur mangunga. I still remember how that kid flicked a five rupees coin into my donation box. I was so touched by the act that I decided to compensate by buying one of his badges. Then I think he ripped me off by selling me a 50 rupees badge. <laughs> but no regrets. Maybe, maybe a few since I remember the story. Yeah. Another story. While we're going on these donation drives, we thought it would be a good idea if all our volunteers wore the same kind of shirts. We went to a local market and bought plain white t-shirts. I asked my sisters to write green volunteers on them. They did that with a green marker to signify a patriotic theme. Today, we've sold over thousands of these green volunteer shirts in different text, colors, and designs. But that plain white shirt still, still hangs in my cupboard. Well, what's, we have had our moments. Most of them have been highs, but there have been a few lows. Particularly interesting used to be the arrangement of volunteers on donation drive day. Apart from a few volunteers who used to join us randomly, we target a lot of friends, acquaintances, by sending out text messages, 
calling them out. This was the time when I received the most number of no responses. And those who I used to get through to were either out of the city on an emergency or one of their close relatives had passed away. Before I could moan or feel sorry for them, I used to see them walking by on the same roads, driving by, all happy and cheerful, like nothing had happened. Yes, they're still my friends. And they do inquire about green volunteers from time to time. And on a high confident day, when they ask how could they could be involved in this, my reply is, without sounding arrogant at all, that you have my number, or you can check your missed calls. Initially started as an Islamabad-based organization. A lot of people from other cities started approaching us. They wanted to know more about the system. Hence, we decided to broaden our horizon and set up effective chapters in other cities. This was particularly challenging. Reaching out to people I'd never met, even spoken to, but we knew we had a common belief. We decided to allocate ambassadors in all the main universities of Islamabad and the rest of the cities. Before we knew it, Greenwater had three simultaneous chapters running successfully in Karachi, Islamabad, and Lahore. Most of our youth mobilization has been through social media. Our work got noticed quicker than we ever expected. We started receiving emails as well as Facebook inboxes from people all over the world. Students as well as Pakistanis living abroad. They wanted to know, they wanted to help their fellow countrymen out and were looking for a platform. This led to the establishment of our international chapters. Today, Green Volunteer is represented in 10 to 12 countries around the world. Just to name a few, USA, Canada, Qatar, Hong Kong, and UK. One of our biggest successes has been our self-sufficiency. We like to come up with innovative techniques to finance our own campaigns. One such idea brought up by a fellow team member was the introduction of Green Volunteers as one. Initially, very scared, we only wanted to order 500. But indirectly forced to order 1,000 due to we had to make them cost efficient. We were very nervous, but yet excited about our first fundraising item. And this first batch of 1,000, we ended selling most of them within a week. But even then, we had no idea that this green volunteer wristband will go on to become our identity. I can't explain how awesome it feels, seriously. When you see a random guy walking on the street wearing a green volunteer wristband. A really proud moment is when I see our leading tennis star, Isam al Haq, wearing the same green water wristband. <laughs> wearing the same green water is bad that I personally presented to him on all his international quests. This led to the start of our merchandising line. And today, we have our green volunteer wristbands, green volunteer pens, hoodies, as well as t-shirts. To show partiality, and due to increasing demand, we recently also had to launch our green volunteer kurtas, female kurtas. <laughs> What sets, personally, through my belief, what sets us apart from other organizations is we do what we believe in, regardless how unconventional or unorthodox it might seem to others. One such Eid, after performing our prayers, we decided to go out on the streets to all the police stops, not only to wish them, but also to provide them with boxes of mithai. I had no idea the small act of kindness will give me so many memorable memories. I saw a side of those policemen I never thought existed. One of them told me that he had been standing on that post for several years, but no one had even waved a hand. Obviously, there were those as well who asked me to open that box from a distance, <laughs> suspecting it might be a bomb. <laughs> but then, they were only doing their job. We surprisingly got criticized for this act a lot from a lot of sections of the crowd. 
due to the general repute of police in our country. But my justification was on that day when everyone was enjoying with their dear ones, they were the only one out there protecting us, basically doing their duty. Being in Islam, with the new influx of so many like-minded volunteers, we decided to also focus on making our city a better place. We started a series of social awareness campaigns, such as free plantation, anti-wall choking, and anti-littering drives. Initially initiated in Islamabad, these went on to all the other cities where we had representation. I remember it was this February, after a second anti-wall choking in Islamabad, that one of our admirers, after congratulating us on the success, also informed us that how difficult it would be to pull off something like this in Karachi. Agreeing with her at the time, but our minds already focused on if we could give it a try. Just a month later, on 23rd March 2012, our own national day, Karachi saw its first ever anti-wall choking drive. All these social awareness plans are part of our yearly schedule. Apart from them, we do have our regular visits to orphanage, charitable schools, special children's schools, old homes, facilitating kids and others however they require. I think these are particularly important for young volunteers as this gives them a first-hand experience of social work. Predominantly being an uh, relief providing organization, we were deeply concerned by the 2000 flood, 2011 floods that hit many districts of Sindh. This was the moment where I felt the proudest of working on a national level. As our Lahore and Islamabad team collected donations and sent them out to our team members volunteering in Karachi, who went to areas where no relief work had reached yet. I remember it was during this campaign that I received the call from a schoolgirl. She told me she wanted to donate her pocket money. And she also informed me it's not much, and her parents are not aware of it. She went on to say that she had a desire to work for the country and thanked me for providing the opportunity. Those very words reminded me of when I was growing up having the same feeling and our basic thought process behind forming such an organization. I suggested to her that she should let her parents know about her passion, as well as her donating to us. She did not only donate after her parents' consent, but is one of our members today and our ambassador in our institution. <laughs> Another remar remarkable incident happened at a fast food chain. We were walking out and we were stopped by one of these ballets. Surprised at the time, our flood fundraising activity used to take us everywhere, all over the city, even ending up at fast foods, everywhere the management used to allow us. I was stopped by one of them. Before I could ask for the reasons, they put, one of them put a 100 rupees note into my donation box. You know, the feeling you get from these can't really be explained in words. But this was one act or one incident which always stays with me. Green Volunteer is a youth-based organization. So we expect ourselves to have a lean patch here or there. But what we can ensure is we're in this for the long run. What we're here is to create a pool of self-motivated volunteers who can channelize themselves, God forbid there's another national disaster, or for any other social service that the situation deems necessary. We believe in a decentralized, decentralized system where all the cities have their own chapters. Every chapter has their governing body, is responsible for their own fundraising activities to initiate their own financing projects. Help can always be provided by any other chapter, especially Islamabad. While volunteering is at the heart of Green Volunteers. We also have long-term tangible goals. We want to set up 
a system of schools to target the urban poor. These schools will not only give them instruction courses, but will also create these kids into social agents. These social agents will be taught that time and age are no determinant. Rather, it is the will of an individual. <coughs> Basically, our aim is to make the youth realize to how potent it is right now to raise their voice then at a latter stage. I've had a lot of memorable experiences and a will to do more. But the, all the highlights of my endeavor have been working with similar minded community work enthusiasts from other organizations. I've had the pleasure of working with organizations such as Let Us Be Kids, Thali, Pelikaran School System, Sabatras, I Pakistan. This further indicates the fact that working together, we can play a bigger role in society. People ask me what I've achieved from all of this. I just look back at my team and reply, kind of a lot. I might be standing here alone, representing my organization, but there's a very good team behind me. They know who they are. And their selflessness can be judged by the fact they particularly told me not to mention their names. Before I conclude my talk, there's only one question I need to ask you. I'm a green volunteer. Are you? <laughs>